Hi friends, I'm Jingle Jackie. Let's all sing and sign together. Let's go. We're gonna learn and play and sing together, yay! Play the guitar and pray, let's celebrate the day. Come on with Jackie, 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 Jingle Jackie, let's get wacky, 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 wacky with Jingle Jackie. to applaud is to put your hands up like this and wave them like this. That's how we clap in American Sign Language. Can you do that? Perfect! Good job! Well friends, my name is Jingle Jackie and you can sign that with Jingle Jackie. That's my name, but what's your name? Can you tell me on the count of three? One, two, Three. That's so many names, but I love every single one of them. Thanks for telling me what your name is. Well, today we're going to learn all about the second day of creation. We've learned about the first day in another episode, but today is all about the sky. In American Sign Language, the sign for sky. We take our hand, Put it up here and put it over there. Sky. Sky. And that's what God made on the second day of creation. We're going to read the Bible later talking all about the second day and all the things that God did to make the sky the way we see it now. But for now, we're going to sing about the sky being made. I'm going to grab my guitar. Why don't you choose a musical instrument that you can play? You can play a trumpet. You can play guitar with me. You can play electric guitar. Or you can go ahead and even play a flute. So when I say I'm going to get my guitar, think of the instrument that you would like to play and you can play that with me. Or you can sign along in American Sign Language. Before we start the song, I want to show you three signs that we'll be using. One is sky. 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 And make sure it's above your head, just like the sky. We have sky. We also have the sign for God. You take your hand, put it up, and come down. That's God. He's above us. He's within us. He's around us. He's God. I'm also going to teach you the sign for day. Take a D with your hand. Remember, we learned the alphabet in a different episode. Take your D and put it down like this. That's like the sun going down. And that's the sign for day. So that's our sign time before this song. But now that you've learned sky, God, and day, let's go ahead and sing this song about the second day of creation together. Let's go. Second, 
The number two looks like this, but if you want to say first, second, third, we'll go like that. You kind of flick it over to the side, and that's how you do second instead of just two. So on the second day of creation, God made the sky. Sky. And I also want to teach you how to say good job. We take our hand by our mouth, put it almost on a plate, like, this is very good. See how good it is? Good, and then job, we take our J and turn it into a B. Job, and that's what this side looks like. Good job. As we just sang together, God made the sky on the second day of creation. On the first day of creation, we learned that he made the universe, the dark, the light, the day, and night. We also learned that everything has a beginning, but God. God is different. God is spirit. God is infinite. He was never created. He will never end. Me and you, we were created. We were created by our parents, who were created by their parents, who were created by their parents all the way back to the beginning of time, to the first man that God created. God started absolutely everything, which is mind-blowing, because it's hard to understand when we were created that God was not. God is the original creator who started everything that we see now. In fact, I even have a song about that. Before we go into the song, let's do sign time. Here are the signs that you're going to see in our song, God is the Creator. We've already learned the sign for God. We also learned that create looks like this, kind of like you're building some blocks together. But creator, to make it a person, we do create and the sign for person. So it's kind of like saying create person, but in ASL, that's the way to say creator. God is the creator. We're also going to learn the sign for start. Take your finger, put it in between your hands and twist, kind of like starting a car. This is how we say start, begin, things like that. Start. Are you ready? I'm going to go get my guitar. Why don't you grab your musical instrument or sign along with me? Let's go. God is the creator, he started everything. God is the creator, he's the reason that I see. God is the creator of the sun, the sky, the moon. God is the creator, and he made me. Bible, which makes perfect sense. 
Genesis teaches us all about how God made the world and started everything that we see. So, it's cool that Genesis is the beginning of the whole Bible, and it teaches us about the beginning of our lives. It's perfect. So today, we're going to read in Genesis chapter 1, verses 6 through 8. Give me a second to turn there, and we'll read it together. Then God said, Let there be a space between the waters, to separate the waters of the heavens from the waters of the earth. And that is what happened. God made this space to separate the waters of the earth from the waters of the heavens. And God called the space sky. And evening passed, and morning came, marking the second day. We'll look into these verses a little more really soon, but first I have a song for you to help you memorize what scripture says about the second day of creation. Are you ready for sign time and learn some signs for this song? Good! Let's learn these together. I've already showed you the sign for God, but this is very important, so let's do it again. God. God. And I've already shown you the sign for sky. Sky. Now this one is pretty fun. It's the sign for water. This is what it will be. Take your W, three fingers up, put it by your mouth. That's water, as if you want to drink water. But if we're talking about the oceans that God created, we're going to do water and then do waves. Isn't that fun? So when we're talking about God creating oceans and rivers on the earth, we're going to go water, waves. And that's the word for oceans. Another sign we're going to learn in this song and use is the sign for earth. There are two separate ways we could sign earth. We can do this. Take your pointer and thumb, put it around your wrist like an earth moving on its axis. Or we can do world. And this is the one we're going to use for this song. World. World. Another one for world is two W's going in a circle. That's also world. So there are three ways that we can say almost the same thing. So remember, world. We also have ocean. We also have God and sky. Are you ready to learn this song with me? I'm going to go get my guitar. Go ahead and grab your musical instrument, or you can sign along with me in American Sign Language. of the earth. What are waters of the earth? What are waters of the heavens? 
what's the space to separate the two from each other? Well, basically, we can look at all of these waters as a form of clouds, sky, atmosphere, oceans. There's many different ways to describe these different things that God made. It's almost like a layered cake. So when we're talking about the waters of the heavens, when we look up, we see clouds way up high in the sky. That would be the top layer of our layered cake. When we're talking about the waters of the earth, we're discussing oceans, bodies of water that we see when we go to the beach, when we fly in an airplane and look down, and that would be these waters that we learned about in American Sign Language. And God made a space in between that top layer and our waters of the earth, right in the middle, and he called that space the sky. Let's read on to the next verse. And that is what happened. God made this space to separate the waters of the earth from the waters of the heavens. I think that we covered that pretty well, didn't we? He tucked in between that top layer and the bottom layer, our beautiful sky, right in the middle, to separate clouds from the ocean. God called the space sky. We just spoke about that, that space right in the middle. God made the sky. And evening passed and morning came, marking the second day. That's another way of saying that a whole second day passed as God separated all the waters apart from each other and named that middle layer the sky. So God made the sky on the second day of creation. And remember the sign for that is sky. Sky. I have a really fun song to teach you about the wonderful things that the sky does for us and that also it does for the earth. It makes healthy soil for our plants, it gives us beautiful, beautiful colors in the sky, and it also protects us from either freezing or getting too hot. The sky basically has superpowers that God gave it. It's incredible. So I'm going to go get my guitar. You go ahead and grab your musical instrument, or you can sign along with me in American Sign Language. Let's sing together. The sky is like a big, big, big invisible blanket with super powers, powers, powers to protect the earth. It keeps our safely in place so it doesn't leak 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 into the universe the sky the sky the sky the sky is like a big invisible blanket the sky is like a big big Shield, shield from the UV lights. And now we all, all, all can be protected and still be safe, safe, safe when we're outside. The sky, the sky, the sky. The sky is like a big hat for the earth. that protect the earth. 
God is a genius. He knew exactly what he was doing when he created the sky just for us so we could be safe. And it's so beautiful to look at too. In fact, do you know what color the sky is? Yes, the sky is blue. Would you like to learn the sign for blue in American Sign Language? Well, I'm gonna show you either way. Take out your B, see, and the letter B, and we're just gonna twist it forward. Blue, that's the color blue. The sky is blue. But do you want to know something that's even more fun about the sky? The sky can be so many different colors. It all depends on how the light is hitting it. During the morning, we might see yellow, orange. During the day, we see a whole bunch of blue. For most of the day, actually. At nighttime, it looks black but it's really a blend of different colors across the sky. It's amazing. It's almost like a beautiful color show when we look up into the sky. It's a mixture of so many pretty colors. I have a song to teach you all about that. The sky is so pretty and so beautiful. So before we sing the song, it's a color show, I'm gonna teach you some signs with sign time. Our first sign we're going to learn is the sign for colors. Hold up your hand in front of your mouth and wiggle your fingers. Colors. Colors. That's the sign for colors. Colors. Now I'm going to teach you some other colors. We've already learned blue. We're also going to use the word purple. Remember, that's a P. We're going to take our purple and twist it forward too. Purple. Purple. And now we're going to learn pink. Take your P in American Sign Language again, and now we're gonna put this down our lips. One, two. You don't have to say one, two though, so let's do that again. Take the tip of your middle finger, and that's gonna go down your lips two times with the letter P. And that's pink. That's because our lips are normally red or pink. The sign for red is an R, and you do the same thing. Red. We'll also learn yellow. It's the Y, and shake it forward twice. Yellow. 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 And green, you could probably guess, is a G, and flick it forward twice. Green. Green. One last one. We'll be singing about the color black. Take your finger and put it across the top of your forehead. Almost like one big eyebrow across your head. Black. Black. All right, are you ready to sing this song, It's a Color Show with me about the beautiful sky? I'm gonna go grab my guitar. You go ahead and grab your musical instrument or you can sign along with me in American Sign Language. Let's sing together. The sky is full of wonderful colors, blue and purple too. Sometimes it's black, sometimes it's pink, but mostly it is blue. It's a color show up in the sky. Most times it looks blue, but it's color. But 
And the sky, we say, is blue. And it's beautiful too. Isn't it beautiful? Well, let's go over all the things that God made in this song, Seven Days of Creation. You learned this song in a different episode, so we're going to sing it again so we can remember all the great things God did on each day of creation, including the seventh day when God rested. So here are some of the signs you're going to see as we do this together. On day one, God made light. Light. He also made dark. Dark. But remember, today we learned that God made the sky on day two. And remember the sign for God. God, I'm going to go get my guitar. Go ahead and grab your musical instrument or sign along with me in American Sign Language as we again sing what God made on all seven days of creation. Let's go. Yeah. 
one day, let's believe in our hearts that Jesus is Lord and confess with our mouths that He's Lord. Or we can also sign it in American Sign Language. Sign language. You can sign that Jesus is Lord as long as you believe it with all that you are and ask him to forgive you of your sins. We'll be in heaven together one day. That's wonderful and I can't wait to see you there. Well now it's trivia time. So get your thinking caps on as you answer these questions with me. First question. What did God make on the second day of creation? We've got light, we've got sky, and we have plants. What did God make on the second day of creation? Yes! God made the sky! Good job! Give yourself a hand. Second question. We've learned that the sky can be a whole blend of colors and a mix, but most of the time, what color is the sky? especially during the day. We have pink, we have purple, and we have blue. What color is the sky? Yes, the sky is blue. Good job. Third question, and this can be kind of tricky. It's a bit of a trick question, so get ready. We read in Genesis chapter 1 verses 6 through 8 about three different layers of waters and God separated the top from the bottom with the sky in the middle. What are the waters of the earth? We have oceans, we have clouds, and we have the sky. Which one were the waters of the earth? Yes, ocean, ocean, because that's in our ground. We can walk to the beach and see the ocean. That's the waters of the earth. Good job. Next question. During the night when we're asleep, if you look up at the sky, what color is the sky going to be at night? What color is the sky at night? We have pink, we have yellow, and we have black. Is it pink, yellow, or black? Yes, black. The sky looks black at night. We know that it could be a mixture of different colors, but it looks to us like it's black. Good job. Last question of the words below. Which one rhymes with the word sky? We have pie, we have apple, and we have bear. Which word rhymes with the word sky? Yes, the pie! Pie sounds like sky. They rhyme. Good job. I knew you could do it. Great job on trivia time. Now that we've gone over everything, let's sing one more time our passage of scripture from Genesis chapter 1, verses 6 through 8. Go grab your musical instruments while I go get my guitar. Or you can sign along in American Sign Language with me. Let's go! Then God said, let there be
God is a creator and he made you. He made me. Well, friends, I hope you have a wonderful day. God loves you so much, so, so much, all the time. Jesus loves you all the time. I'll see you next time. Bye, friends. Come on with Jackie, 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 Jingle, Jackie, let's get wacky, 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 wacky with Jingle.